Have you spend it all? Welcome to Dahab, a place in Egypt that I thought I'd never be here because of my Danish friend here, my Danish, my Dutch friend. I'm here to check it out and it's freaking amazing. I'm in shock how nice it is. Plush, sweet, a little taste of like a Sharma Shek, but even more quaint and more intimate. But we're here to rock and roll. So, we got a lot of places to see. Is this like the main street that comes off? Yeah, this is oh, okay. Oh my gosh. We might need two days now. Oh no. This is painful decisions here. Just absolutely painful. Look, shops everywhere, goodies, people, fun, action. Oh my gosh, I'm in shock. We got a beautiful plush little room for six dollars. Welcome to Egypt. We're here. I'm on this bridge. And to the left of me, whereas you can rent horses and buggies and go out into the desert and get crazy if you're into the Baja life. And right to the right, look at all these restaurants, hotels like the Mini Center. Fantastic. Welcome to Egypt. We're here. Might have to extend my trip. Kind of in shock right now. It's fabulous. And all these shops, it just goes on and on and on. Holy jeez. Look at this. More shops and goodies here. And her got no. in this amazing little beach resort. It's just freaking fantastic. And it's starting to really boil here, so get ready. Look at these little funky little drums. I'm at the top of Mount Sinai, the end of May 2009. And you can see all the people who hiked up here it's about two and a half hours. It's pretty cold. But we finally did it. A dream fulfilled. It was bothering me four years ago when I was here that I couldn't do this. So I did it. Just want to show you what it looks like all around me. We're really high up. People everywhere. All these people right behind me, take a look. There's an old church, Orthodox Greek, Catholic. I have no idea how old, but it's old. And there's international people here from all over the world showing you a taste of what it looks like. See the beautiful mountains? And there's the sunset. Look at down there. Seriously high, I think they said 3,500 feet. <laughs> Look at that horizon. You can see the curvature of the earth. I'm talking mellow because it's really cold. I don't want to stutter. And there's still people marching up here. Look at this, like ants steep in spots. Thank goodness it's not like below zero snowing or a dust storm. Otherwise we'd have to go down. But it's pretty clean and clear. And there's a doggy. Oh my gosh. Cameras everywhere. I'm not totally blown away, but it's interesting for only a short while. Those amazing mountains.
There's the sun coming out. Just want to show you all the people marching down this steeple steps. They're called holy steps. Right behind me is all the people coming down slowly. There's a little Bedouin fortress. And we did it. Another goal accomplished. Back down the hill we go. Now to the monastery. Such a classic shot. I just have to show you how beautiful it is. Camels. Guys sleeping in the rocks over there. We're hiking down Mount Sinai. And it was pitch black coming up. And now that's full bright light sun. Look at all the camels and the people here. Isn't it neat? Beautiful shot. Man, you should smell what I'm smelling right now. It's pretty harsh. Camel caca. It's pretty hardcore right now. Gotta show you, look at that guy sleeping right there. Look at these mountains. Boy, did we ever do a, a long hike. Look at these camels everywhere. Look at the camels laying down. It's new, it's touristic, but I've never seen very many people here. Look, it's like Russian mosques. All these little shops and little things and right behind is an old mosque and some type of like area you pay to go in to see some type of show. You know, I'm gonna walk this whole thing and check it out and see what's here. See if it's changed or not. Very pretty. Very interesting. Look at a mile of rooftops of these round mosque bulbs. Huh, here we go. I'm in the old city behind uh, all the high-end resorts here. I'm just giving you a taste in one of the coves here. Look at people water skiing. It's so nice, amazingly, perfectly beautiful water here. It's fantastic. And you know what the dichotomy is? Everybody here is paying $200 and up a night. And I'm a 12 minute walk away in a nice little hostel for $10 a night. Well, you pay for what you get. I'm comfortable, really cozy, and it's very quiet. Just showing you some of the beaches there. Look what it says right there, sun and fun. Charm El Shack. Well, here we are in the evening. People starting to pile in here. It's early. And if it was later, it would be packed. Showing you some of the vibe. Look at guys skateboarding. Never seen that here. How fun. Downtown Hergada, Egypt. Look at the guys riding in the tractor. Man, can you imagine that? Riding in a tractor. That's freaking incredible. Absolute total third world. Just gotta love it. 
Well, there's my little hotel there. It's called Grand Hotel. And the Grand four bucks. Not bad. And I'm only a 10 minute walk from all the main action on this street. You can see all these animals and people running around. Ashwan. <laughs> Hotels. Little places, dumps. <laughs> Sorry for all the movement. The flies are just attacking me like mad. They just scream. <laughs> Kids. Just absolute third world. Look at that roof. Tin and carpet rugs. And funky Muslim women everywhere. He's changing his feet. Look at the horsey. And it's not hurting him, so I'm sure he's okay. Dirty, funky road. Oh, here's another horsey. Right behind me. Hello. Hello. Don't touch, don't touch. These guys are arguing for what reasons, I have no idea. Look. Hello. Oh, she just came right behind me. Horses everywhere. Wow, look at them. I guess this is what they do for the tourists. Oh, here's a, a big old temple ruin, ancient ruin here in Ashwan. It's very famous. I have no idea how old. You have to pay to go inside here. Don't know if we're going to go in yet. We might. I don't even know how long we're going to stay here. We'll probably leave tonight. This place was packed last night. It's about quarter to 11 right now in the afternoon, and look, everybody's asleep. It's dead from Monday. I'm kind of amazed. And out of all places, there's a McDonald's right here. Can you imagine that? In the middle of the freaking desert in Egypt. Blows my mind. Getting right? No, absolutely no. Brown, but different. all along the side here. And we're standing right on these little cliffs like these big stone rocks. And this is what it looks like. First time I've ever placing my eyes here on, in Ashwan and on the Nile here. It's pretty choppy right in here. And once again way out there straight ahead is that big like church moss thing standing all by itself. Oh my gosh, I see another one way up that way. Just all alone. Alone. And how about that view? Look at this. We're going to do a slow zoom zoom on this guy. That's Ashwan, and that's the Nile. And we're just trying to move the camera around, keep it as steady as I can. Very picturesque. 
giving you another taste of the vibe here. We're at this five-star resort. And we walk down and this is the Nile. Absolutely beautiful. And I can see why people would want to take a, a week or two week cruise all the way down to Oshawan. Here we are, rocking and rolling. This is the Nile. Cairo, 2009. Last day of our trip. There's the Sheraton over there. And look at this. Grand Hyatt Cairo ship. Never knew they had a ship. And there's a bridge right over there. Pretty fantastic. Hot. Look at the camel here. And there we are. We're going to wander and check out the sights. Hey, sir. Look at this camels everywhere. Take Isn't it fantastic? I'm American. Yes, America. Oh, sir. Can I see? No. Always. See how high that baby goes. Yeah. Well, we guys, we got a lot to see here. We're gonna hike around. Hold this. I give you a picture. Will become Oscar. Sure. 